Greetings from one of the new quarantine sites here in the Camps and Cox Bazaar. Site management partners are coordinating the response across all 34 camps. In addition to that, they're also doing a lot for cyclone and monsoon preparedness, including slope stabilization and other disaster preparedness work. Shelter and Affairs sector partners are working closely with site management and ensuring that there is emergency shelter response and physical distancing during distributions. Health sector partners responding to the current COVID-19 situations providing essential health services through around 200 health facilities. 12 service centers having more than 1,000 beds uh, have been established. Uh, 11 ambulances uh, are under the network of dispatch and referral units uh, providing referral services for COVID-19 uh, patients. To prevent and mitigate COVID-19, WASH sector is delivering 30,000 cubic meter safe water per day. Is infecting around 40,000 uh, WASH facilities per week. Providing soap for unwashing and hygiene messages to over 1 million people every month. The education sector and its partners are working towards continued education for children. Our facilitators are supporting caregiver parents with instructions for children to learn from home. During this pandemic, the nutrition sector continued with life-saving nutrition interventions. Besides our regular program, we developed several communication materials, technical guidelines, organized training for mothers and health workers in COVID-19 preventions and risk transmission. The protection sector places refugee voices and needs at the center of the response. 39 protection emergency response units or Peru teams were activated to ensure that protection is integrated into all the activities in the camps. These teams include protection, child protection, GBV, community mobilizers, and two refugee volunteers. The Gender in Humanitarian Action Working Group is focusing on addressing the gender impacts of this crisis, particularly impacting women, girls, and transgender populations. CWC Working Group and its partners are disseminating life-saving messages in the camps and in the host community through different mechanisms, loudspeakers, radio listener groups, community meetings, neighborhood-based household visits are dedicated to deliver COVID-19 awareness messages. Critical food and nutrition support are distributed together to limit movement in the camps and livelihoods initiatives are provided to affected vulnerable Bangladeshis in the host community. 